But first tonight, Rhode Island remembers the life and legacy of Noelle Pell. The wife of the legendary Senator Claiborne Pell passed away early today at the age of 89. Noelle Pell became well known in her own right as a prominent advocate for the arts and humanity, education and women's health. She was also the grandmother of gubernatorial candidate Clay Pell and attended his campaign kickoff back in January. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Planner joins us live from Newport now with more on how Rhode Island is paying a tribute to Noelle Pell's legacy of service. Kelly, good evening to you. Behind me is the Pell Center for International Relations and Public Policy, a place Nuela Pell cared deeply for. And for the students, faculty, and staff here, it was mutual. Show. This was Nuela Pell at her last public appearance in January, so speaking at her grandson Clay's campaign kickoff for Rhode Island governor. I thought my time in politics was over. <laughs> yeah. Nuela Pell, of course, widow of the late Democratic Senator Claiborne Pell, who represented Rhode Island for nearly four decades. Now striving to continue the family's record of public service, Clay Pell paid tribute to his grandmother in a statement to Eyewitness News. It reads, our entire family is heartbroken by my grandmother's passing. She dedicated her life to her family and to the service of others. We could not have asked for a better parent or grandparent than Mimi. We will love and miss her more than words can express. And from family friend and Senator Jack Reed, I join with all Rhode Islanders in mourning the loss of an extraordinary woman. Way Pell worked hard to give others opportunity, and she did it with incredible grace, decency, and compassion. Her legacy of kindness, generosity, and working to expand opportunity for others will continue to live on. She was close with the Kennedys and Clintons, both families represented at Senator Pell's funeral in 2009. But Noela Pell was also a devoted advocate for the arts, education, and a laundry list of humanitarian causes. She lobbied for gay rights as early as the mid-90s, pushing for legislation in the Rhode Island General Assembly to prevent discrimination in the workplace and in public housing. Newport Salve Regina University recognized Nuela Pell's record of public service this past August, launching a leadership program in her name. Sister Jane Garrity is the university's president. She loved our students. She loved to be around them. She loved to hear what they were doing. Um, and it was, a, it was a genuine caring for them. We will miss her. We'll miss her very much. Noela Pell, dead tonight at the age of 89. Funeral arrangements are pending. Live in Newport tonight with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News. Condolences continue pouring in from Rhode Island leaders and those whose lives were touched by the, the service of Noela Pell. Rhode Island Governor Lincoln Chafee had this to say, quote, her passion for scholarship and the humanities led to a decades-long advocacy of public service and philanthropy. My sincere condolences to the Pell family as we celebrate the many accomplishments of this remarkably talented and caring woman who has left her mark throughout our state. Governor Chafee's father, John Chafee, served with Claiborne Pell in the U.S. Senate for more than two decades. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse also released a statement today saying in parts, I join with all Rhode Islanders in mourning the loss of an extraordinary woman, Noe Lapel. She had a timeless elegance and charm and was just a beautiful person. He goes on to say, quote, her lifetime commitment to service and generous contributions to our community will continue to impact countless lives. And Providence Mayor Angel Tavares, who's opposing Clay Pell in the Democratic gubernatorial primary, had this to say, quote, Noela Pell's contribution to the state of Rhode Island has been immeasurable. Her passing is a great loss to our state. I send my heartfelt condolences to Clay, Michelle, and the entire Pell family. Count on I